Hi there guys and welcome to another Red Gaming Tech Gaming News video with myself, Amata, here on the 17th of March. I have some rather interesting news for you actually, as Capcom have, and Valve have made an unlikely crossover between Left 4 Dead 2 and Resident Evil 6 as a free piece of DLC for PC players. No mention of any console release unfortunately, so it seems like this is PC only. And basically what this DLC will be is that characters from Left 4 Dead 2, Coach, Nick, Ellis and Rochelle, will basically be in Resident Evil 6 in the PC exclusive Mercenaries No Mercy mode. And also a few special infected such as the Witch and Mini Tank will be making an appearance in the Mercenaries mode as well, just to make things even more terrifying. As for Resident Evil 6... Characters will appear from, well, enemies, sorry, will appear from Left 4 Dead 2, including Leprotista, Napard, and Ogro Man. So, yeah, it's going to be rather interesting to say the least. Um, Resident Evil 6 players will get the DLC on April 5th, while Left 4 Dead players are, don't actually have a finished release day yet, as all they have said is a vague spring ETA. Which is not exactly optimal for those of you who own Left 4 Dead 2, but there you have it. Pretty interesting idea, actually. I kind of think that adding the Special Infected will actually mix up the Mercenaries mode quite a lot and actually make it really, really interesting considering that Left 4 Dead 2 is heavily based on team play and helping each other out of certain situations when you get mobbed by certain enemies, that sort of thing. So I'd be curious to see exactly how that works in a game such as Resident Evil 6. And it seems like... The Left 4 Dead guys aren't getting as much as Resident Evil 6 guys, but as I said previously, this DLC is free. I actually love the Mercenaries mode from Resident Evil. It's been pretty much a staple of the series since Resident Evil 3, I believe. But the Resident Evil 4 Mercenaries mode was pretty badass, and it was actually one of my favourite things to play once I'd finished replaying the campaign and Ada's story. So it's nice to see that we're getting a little bit of free content. You can't really complain, complain about free stuff, especially when it sounds like it's actually going to add a little bit of fun and variety for the PC guys. It would be nice if console owners got this DLC as well, but there's no mention of it, as I said. which is a bit of a shame, but there you have it. Hopefully we'll get a release date for the Left 4 Dead 2 guys as well. As I said, at the moment all there is is a spring ETA, which is not exactly amazing to say that say the least, sorry, but Resident Evil 6 guys will be getting on April 5th, so it's not too long to wait for this free piece of content, which is always good. Anyway, that's me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.